Hello friends. Share with you today. LCD TV boot gray screen. How to repair this fault. Gray screen refers to the LCD screen work. But the backlight is working. After disassembling the LCD TV. You can see that the backlight is bright. The upper right corner is the screen model of this TV. Encountered a gray screen failure. Let us first check the logic version of the fuse. Is the 12 volt power supply of the rear stage normal? Measuring the power supply is no problem. We are measuring other voltages. Chip power supply VCC 3.3 volts is normal. Measure AVDD 15 volts low, only 5 volts. Next we measure the VON voltage. Some are labeled VGH. These two mean the same. Found no voltage. Then there is no need to measure later. Faults like this no voltage or low voltage. There may be a power supply. That is, there is something wrong with the DC-DC circuit. It may also be the load short circuit protection. In actual maintenance. In fact, most of the screen short circuit causes the voltage to be low. Or there is no voltage. The judgment method is also very simple. We can use pointer multimeter. When the machine is turned on. Let us measure the VON voltage. If the pointer fluctuates after turning on the power. That means the screen is shorted. You can see that the pointer immediately swings as soon as the power is turned on. This situation shows that the DC-DC circuit is no problem. It is because of the short circuit of the screen that the power supply protection is cut off. The circle marks its power chip. When encountering such a failure, we can break Y to repair it. On the logic board or screen side board. There is a flexible cable between them and the LCD screen. This we call the X module, also called COF. On top it has three areas. An area on the left, an area in the middle, an area on the right. The area on the left is called even. Is responsible for the even row drive. Middle area. Inside the LCD screen. Source of millions of T-feet transistors. The area on the right is called odd. Is responsible for the odd row drive circuit. Next, let us take a closer look at the internal structure of the LCD screen. See where these lines go. Inside the LCD. It is composed of countless pixels composed of red, green and blue tertiary colors. A pixel is composed of three red, green, blue and purple pixels. These three sub-pixels are also called RGB filters. Red, green, blue we see. In fact, it is just the filter above. Below each RGB filter. Has a liquid crystal unit. 15 volts of AVDD on the logic board. It is to come to the positive pole of this LCD power supply. The negative pole of the liquid crystal cell. Connected to the VCOM voltage on the logic board. The VCOM voltage is about half of the AVDD voltage. How does this LCD unit work? In fact, there is a TFT substrate under the liquid crystal unit. Each LCD unit. It is all controlled by a TFT transistor. The positive pole of the liquid crystal cell. Connected to the primary stage of the TFT transistor. AVDD voltage on the LCD cell. It is not directly added to the LCD unit. The AVDD voltage on the logic board passes through the cough. Comes to the drain of the TFT transistor. And this TFT transistor it works. It requires several signal voltages. One is VGH, one is VGL. Another one is CKV. CKV is the vertical clock pulse. Use these signals to control the transistor. Let the AVDD voltage pass through the origin of this transistor. Come to the positive pole of the liquid crystal cell. Then come out from the negative pole of the liquid crystal unit and connect it to VCOM. The LCD screen has two row drivers. One side is odd row drive circuit. The other side is called the even row drive circuit. The row driver circuits on both sides of the. As long as one side is short circuited. It will cause the failure of the gray screen of the LCD TV. Under maintenance. What we call break Y. It is to cut off the problematic row drive circuit. So that the power chip can work normally. That s y. We break one of the circuits. The screen still works fine. Because it has a row drive circuit on the left and right sides. And we break Y. Just cut off its driving signal, which is CKV. So we find the corresponding CKV signal line. Just cut it off. This way we can disconnect the problematic row driver circuit. 
Practice is the sole criterion for testing truth. We cut off the problematic CKV signal line. See if you can solve the gray screen failure. It returns to normal immediately after cutting the line.